welcome back to my channel so today's topic is pusa bio decomposer so let me give you an insight of this bio decomposer which would be very useful for managing the stubble which is generated from agricultural fields so this will be a sustainable solution which will be helpful in managing the air pollution and managing the fertility of the soil using a fungal consortium so as we all know that india is said to be the second largest agricultural economy and once there is agriculture definitely we know that there is lot of agricultural waste that has been generated and when this agricultural waste is burnt simply without any use definitely this is going to create a lot of issues not only to the health but also to the environment because once you burn this agricultural residues it emits a lot of gases and these gases have the potential to absorb the heat of the sun that by thereby it leads to uh, global warming so instead of burning this residues there are various other options that we can uh, go for so let me give you more details on that today so this would help in reducing global warming it will help in increasing the fertility of the soil plus it will also help in minimizing the health issues so according to mnre report india generates 500 million tons of crop residues every year so you can just imagine how much uh, agricultural residues is generated every year and management of this has become a serious issue so few of uh, a little of this goes to various purposes like fodder fuel and for industrial purpose but there is extra so much and how to manage that it is becoming a serious issue so apart from that when you burn this stubble that is the uh, remains of the agricultural fields it leads to a lot of issues and there are a lot of papers which uh, uh, tell about the part particulate matter that is pm 2.5 which are emitted because of stubble burning and there are a lot of reports which uh, link the pm 2.5 with lung cancer so that has increased the lung cancer rates so indirectly it might be because of the stubble burning so when you burn 63 metric tons of copper stubble so uh, crop stubble sorry you can uh, see that it releases 3.5 uh, tons of uh, uh, carbon monoxide nitrous oxides carbon dioxide and methane so so many uh, so much of uh, all these uh, pollutants have been uh, emitted and definitely that is leading to a lot of respiratory issues in people and people are facing a lot of respiratory related uh, health issues apart from that actually the stubble has got a various other benefits you can try to produce energy out of it by burning it in a controlled condition by using incinerators or any other controlled systems and that concept of converting this waste material into energy will be called as waste to energy concept so based on the calorific value so if a waste has got good calorific value that can be burned within a uh, enclosed uh, instruments uh, known as incinerators and uh, under the control condition like there will be uh, the gas curbing uh, unit attached to it so all that will be in place and finally you can try to produce gas which can be converted into electricity so there is lot of scope available for converting this waste into energy and uh, uh, minimizing your uh, need for uh, uh, fossil fuels so in this way they can be used by uh, converting that into electricity and we can use it in that way so uh, coming to punjab and haryana stubble burning has been practiced from long and that has led to a lot of health impacts there according to uh, who that is the world health organization delhi and mumbai comes in the top list because of the most polluted air there that is because of one reason is because of the stubble burning so as i told you it has got a detrimental effect on health and these gases even if you get exposed to it for 2 hours there are some reports which tells that it can have adverse impacts on you so definitely we are uh, inhaling this deadly toxic cocktail and uh, that is going to have a serious impact and uh, nearly 7 million deaths are going to happen per year because of this complications of air pollutants which are released from stubble burning so some reports tell that even it has led to a lot of cardiovascular diseases because of the hardening of blood vessels and even it has led to lung cancer so this might be because of the pm 2.5 that is released because of the burning of these molecules so other impacts is, as i told you the respiratory health there are again few reports which tells that it has impact on the reproductive health neural health digestive health immune health skin health and mental health so you can see that nothing is left 
it has impact on almost everything. So there is a need to manage this trouble in a better way. Coming to the option that I am giving you today, that is the PUSA Biodecomposer. So this is a fungal consortium having different fungal species incorporated within the system. So they are, uh, uh, this uh, research is done by the Indian Agricultural Research Institute of Delhi. So uh, they are uh, selling this as capsules and it is available uh, in a pack you get four capsules and it costs you only 20 rupees and that can be used for one hectare of land. So definitely instead of burning this trouble and creating a lot of issues not only to the environment but health, you can try to produce or use this PUSA biodecomposer and try to make your land fertile and that land can be used for further uh, agricultural practices without the need of any chemical fertilizer because it would indirectly increase the fertility of the soil and indirectly it would improve the yield of the crops. So in this way this is going to be a very good option so let me give a few more details of that now. One more main issue with these uh, places like Delhi uh, is that they have extreme weather conditions so it is either very hot or very cold and what happens when the weather is very cold that air does not rise too much and air gets concentrated at the lower ranges. So when air gets concentrated definitely the pollutants also it's trapped within this air and that leads to a serious health issues because people will be there in the lower uh, area and the air which they breathe will have this trapped pollutants in them and they will be continuously breathing this cocktail which will lead to serious health issues. So coming to how to use this uh, particular capsule, so the capsule as I told you that capsule should be converted into a liquid formulation. So you can add little jaggery, you can add some flour uh, floor to make it a uh, uh, little, uh, to increase the consistency of that particular formulation and then uh, it is uh, water you have to use. So using this a uh, liquid formulation is created and that can be sprayed in the field. So if you have uh, one hectare of uh, the agricultural field, 25 liters of the solution would be enough to spray for one hectare of the land. So once you spray it, you have to leave it for 20-25 days for it to decompose because once the fungal consortium is added, it will require some time to decompose that material into, uh, to convert it into manure. So once that is done, the fertile land would be ready for the next cycle and definitely the organic nutrients would have been transferred to the soil and now when you sow the next seed, definitely you would get a better yield. So now let us see how exactly it does this. So what happens is this fungal consortium, they have a lot of hydrolytic enzymes and we know that hydrolytic enzymes have that capability to break down the organic matter. So the straw that is the agricultural uh, residue that remains, they are rich in cellulose, lignin and pectin and these molecules can be uh, broken down by this fungal consortium. So by decomposition or breaking down of these molecules, you can convert that back into manure which can be helpful in the cycling of the nutrients. So this is to show you how the uh, spraying of this uh, PUSA biodecomposer can be done in the stubble field and it will definitely help in improving the fertility of the soil. It will require less uh, uh, consumption of fertilizers and definitely this is going to be a sustainable option which will help in achieving the goal of Swachh Bharat. And uh, this is definitely going to be a cheaper uh, alternative also because I told you the cost of the four capsules is just 20 rupees. So uh, why not try to use this for all the fields that we have and try to avoid uh, uh, the health impacts of these uh, burning of uh, stubble. So coming to a few takeaway messages, definitely there is a lot of scope for waste to energy plants and these waste to energy plants will definitely reduce the carbon footprint so they can... Uh, be applied for CDM projects also that is clean development mechanism and it can even earn in euros for this uh, concept and uh, definitely it will minimize the use of chemical fertilizers because you are already enriching the soil with nutrients. So once you do the soil testing and check the nutrient level of the soil, you can add appropriate amount of organic fertilizers if necessary. And uh, it will uh, definitely be profitable, it will increase the yield of the uh, uh, growth there. So definitely if yield is going to improve, the pro it is going to be a profitable uh, venture for the farmers plus it would have a be benefit on the health impacts because it would improve the quality of the air that is there. So simple steps that we can take will definitely help in saving our nature and ourselves to a greater extent. So there is a lot of scope for waste to energy so based on the calorific value you can collect the waste, you can send it to the plant for processing 
and then based on the necessary processing techniques required, you can convert them into fuel, you can convert them into gas, or you can convert them into electricity. So thank you for watching, thank you for supporting me. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel so that you can get even more uh, videos in the future. And uh, do share this video with maximum people so that it can benefit everyone who are working in the field of agriculture and they can try to implement this idea into their fields. Thank you so much.